So the GPU we'll be going over in this video is the XFX7970 non-gigahertz edition. I did overclock the core on this card to, to, to uh, 1050 to match the gigahertz edition. This GPU comes with 2048 stream processors, has 128 uh, texture units, 32 ROMs, the, the, the core clock on the stock XFX is 925 but like I said I overclocked it to 1050 to match the gigahertz edition it does have a 384 bit memory interface it does have a 250 watt TDP and when when the card came out in uh, 2012 the retail cost was $549 this version of the GPU does have 3 gigs of uh, uh, GDR Five at uh, 5.5 gigahertz. There are uh, a couple of versions that do come with six gigs of GDR5. Late uh, 2018 and now t uh, 2019, you can find this card from anywhere from fifty dollars to um, probably about a hundred dollars on eBay on the used market. What surprised me about this card was uh, how capable it is, even in uh, 2019 at 1080p and some of the older titles like GTA 5 are ran at 1440p um, like to Shadows of Tomb Raider you're not going to be able to max out all the settings at 1080p with this card uh, you'll probably have to play it from medium to low but like you'll see on Battlefield 5 I was able to put everything on high and get decent frame rates here are the pictures of uh, the exact card that I'm using, the XFX. It has the uh, dual fan cooler on it. Here's with the cooler off. Here's the thermal pads and the VRM cooler right here. Uh, the benchmarks uh, is a wide range of a couple older titles like GTA 5 all the way up to Battlefield 5. I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch the video, and I hope you enjoy the benchmarks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Death is death, no matter where you are. And suffering is the same in every language. 